Good morning, Saugus. I'm Hayden Trowbridge, and today is Tuesday, March 19th. And I'm Nathan Miller, and this is SNN. Remember, juniors, there are only 14 school days left until CASP testing. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd let you know the origins of the word factoid. Norman Miller introduced the word in his 1973 book, Maryland. He combined the word fact with the scientific suffix oid, which means resembling but not identical to. In other words, it is something that looks like a fact, but isn't. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Congratulations to the VEX Robotic Club. They won first in their regional competition last weekend and will be headed to the national competition in Texas later this year. Applications for summer school are now available in the counseling office. See your counselor to sign up. Attention seniors, Jostens will be on campus tomorrow to deliver your graduation announcements. They will be on the outdoor stage during brunch and lunch. If you are a senior who has achieved a high level of literacy in any language other than English, you could be eligible for the state seal of biliteracy and get a special cord to wear at graduation as well as a seal on your diploma. See your counselor if you think you qualify. If you are planning on attending College of the Canyons, go to the NPR anytime between lunch and 3.30 on March 20th for help in completing your online application. On March 26th, field trip forums will be due for the COC campus visit on March 28th. See, your counsel excuse me, see the counseling office for more information and to pick up a field trip form. Prom tickets are now on sale at $135 with an ASB card and $140 without. You can pick up a an informational packet in the front office or ASB office. The dance is not included in the dance pack. Now let's go to Owen Derry with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Owen Derry with your sports news. Softball plays it against, against West Ranch. Frosh plays at 315 at West Ranch. JV plays at 445 at West Ranch. And Varsity plays at 315 at Saugus. Also today, boys volleyball plays against Canyon. Frosh plays at 345. JV plays at 415. And Varsity plays at 530. All games are at Canyon. Boys tennis also plays today against Golden Valley. JV plays at Golden Valley. And Varsity plays at Saugus. Both games will be played at 3. Also tomorrow, baseball plays Golden Valley. Frosh plays at the Hart Complex at 4, JV plays at Golden Valley at 4, and Varsity plays at Saugus at 3.30. On Thursday, track and field competes against West Range at Saugus at 3. Tomorrow's games are tentative due to rain. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. That's all for me. Now let's take another in-depth look at A through G requirements. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Excuse us, we're catching up on our script. And now for your scholarship news. The Santa Clarita Arts Association application is now available at the website listed below. Students must be graduating seniors with plans for, its, uh, for continuing their education in the arts. For more information, you can pick up a flyer in the counseling office. The Cajuns Aviation Dream Scholarship will be awarded to two seniors interested in attending an EAA Advanced Air Academy session. Applicants must be between 16 and 18 years old. To apply, go to the website listed below or pick up a flyer in the counseling office. The Zonta Club of SCV Young Women in Public Affairs will be presenting a $1,000 and two $500 awards to women 16 to 19 years old. You must be living in the Santa Clarita Valley and demonstrate evidence of active commitment to volunteerism, experience in local government, student government, and workplace or volunteer leadership achievements. 
You must also have knowledge of Zonta International, its programs, and support for their mission of empowering women worldwide through service and advocacy. Pick up an application in the counseling office or at the website listed below. The application deadline is this Friday. In the first week of Pennies for Patients, Saugus High School raised $622.82. Congratulations to Mr. Klipfeld and Mrs. Bodden. Mr. Klipfeld's class raised a total of $110.63. Mrs. Bodden raised a total of $236.32 with all of her classes. Mrs. Bodden's fifth period alone was in second place with $82.39 raised. Donuts will be delivered to both of these teachers. In third place is Miss Benz with an amazing $68.50. Good job. That's all for today. I'm Nathan Miller. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. Don't forget this Thursday is an open house, so we'll also have a minimum day. And I'm Hayden Trowbridge. Tomorrow morning, student help sessions will be available for English, Math, Business, Industrial Arts, Basic Education, and PE. Have a great day, and we will see you on Friday.